All right, when you open up Visio, there's a template that you can search for maybe under database and software. You go under database model diagram. And then after that loads up, you click on database tab. And then, let's see, I think database properties, output tables, we want to view all this stuff. Under display options, you need to click on crow's feet. Make sure that's selected. And then just select OK. From there, you can start building out your uh, your table layouts, your design layouts. So you just grab an entity, which is you know a table. I'm going to zoom in a bit here. So we can get a closer look. Let's just say this is the employee employee table. So we got our employees. We got to add in our columns. We're going to do uh, let's do employee ID and integer. Make it required primary key employee name or F name. Let's see what else can we add? Um, let's have a job, uh, employee, or job ID, let's say what they're assigned to. So then we're going to create another table and we're going to call it, let's do jobs, we'll, we'll just call it job, and we're going to have job ID, the integer, and job description, char is fine, job pay, let it be a currency. Okay, I think I gotta go back to this and make sure it's an integer, because they gotta match up. Okay, so we got an employee who has a job ID, he's got his employee ID. So we need to create a relationship between the job ID and the uh, the job table. So this guy needs to have a, a required correct job ID. So we're going to select um, relationship. And then from there, we're going to go in the home menu, click on connector, relationship. Say it's got the red around it. Select that. And then drag it to wherever you want to create the relationship. By default, it's creating a um, one or zero to zero and many relationship. And since we had field names that already matched up underneath the definition, now if these were screwed up, we could, you know, also select each side and say disconnect and associate it to however we wanted to, you know, have the relationship be set up. Um, so in order to change this, the first thing you have to do, if you want this to be just a one relationship, you have to actually switch it to identifying, okay? And then from there you can switch it to, uh, let's say you want it to have a, a one to um, exactly zero or one relationship, okay? Now if you switch it to back to not identifying, you see how the uh, identifier on the left hasn't changed back to a circle. It's some kind of bug with inside of Microsoft Visio, it seems like. Um, so that's the first thing you have to do. If you don't do it right away, you have to actually delete the relationship and then create it again. So it's important if that's the kind of relationship you have. But if you have um, like a one to more, switch it, it's got the one to more. Um, and then if you want it to be identifying or not. So there's uh, one relationship. Um, now let's let's add like another one. Let's go to uh, let's create departments. Department. Go get the
For this, we'll do. Uh, we're going to have a department head, and we'll use the department head. Each department can have one uh, employee that's the head of that department. So that's the kind of relationship we're going to set up. We'll have it be uh, required for each department. And what else are we going to have? Uh, department description. Have that be required. And uh, that's good. Now, um, even though I'm calling it department head ID, I mean, it really could just, it's just an employee ID. That's all I'm going to use for it. So I'm going to go back to my relationship tool and I'm going to say, um, relationship between department and employee table. Move this down a little bit so we can see it. So back, now I need to select the relationship. And you select, um, this is like a, a one to something relationship. It has to have one. Um, it doesn't necessarily, it's not identifying because it's only going to be like a one to one deal. So we're going to say it's 0 to 1, not identifying. 0 to 1, not identifying. But then we got to match it up. So we select the identifier definition. Got the department ID. That's not what we want to do. We don't want it to go by department ID. We want it to be uh, by the head ID to the employee ID. We're going to associate those two suckers together. And then we'll switch it to one or more identifying. Let's see. Let's see, do my column names match up? Department head ID, that's correct. I'm going to delete this and recreate it. This is that situation I was talking about. Find relationship. So did it automatically match it up that time? Department ID, no it did not. Let's go switch it to employee ID, associate those two, and we're gonna disassociate these two. But well, at least we got the one to many relationship, and uh, but it should be one to one, so I'm gonna go over and say zero to one. So that's that's more that's correct right there. And let's say, uh, yeah, so we got one employee that could be part, or that could be the department head for this section. And every employee is going to have a department ID. So we've got to create another relationship. And this is going to be a, uh, like a department, a one-to-many relationship, so it doesn't need to be identifying, but for every one department ID in the employee table, we could have uh, many employees. We could have zero or many employees that are part of that. Uh, department. So. That's just Visio on the crow's foot, just a short little piece. And then later on, if you need the table again if in a different diagram, you can click and drag it. But uh, as you notice, it still has the same uh, same like primary keys, so it's not very helpful. Um, if you wanted to add like a second, like other keys, you can still add indexes. Create like a new uh, index. Let's say you wanted to search by last name. Uh, you could just create that and add it to the index and then see employee last name I1 index 1. So it's just a tutorial.